meet Anya, an architect who has designed a building for Bristol University that has some interesting sustainable aspects to it. See if you can spot them. My name is Anya and I'm an architect and I design buildings. What I really love about my job is working with a lot of different people and everyone brings something to the project. They might have a specialism, they might have knowledge that I don't know, so I, I feel like I learn every day. The Temple Quarter Enterprise Campus is a new campus for the University of Bristol, right in the middle of Bristol, next to the main station, Temple Meads. Temple Quarter is a really big building, so it might not look sustainable, as in it's not a little green farm building in the middle of the countryside. It's a really big building, it's the size of almost six football pitches, but it does have a lot of design features that are sustainable. The site is land that has been used before, so it's really sustainable to build on something like that again, and um, we call that a brownfield site when you reuse the land that you've built on before. The former post sorting office that stood there was unfortunately contaminated, so we, we had to demolish it. So we used the rubble of the previous building to raise the ground level to about one and a half meter higher than it currently is to raise it above the floodplain level. It's a unique location in the sense that it lies right next to the main train station. So it's really easy to get to it with green transport methods. So train, bicycle, buses. We've even got electric bicycle charging points on the site. The big carbon footprint of a building often lies in its primary structure, i.e. the concrete beams and the concrete columns. So that really has to last for a long time. So then if you bring in fit out, i.e. walls and floors and ceilings, if they can be moved around easily, then that means that you can reuse it, move a partition, make a room smaller, make it bigger, and therefore adapt the building use over time. So the primary structure is a concrete structure, so our beams and columns are all out of concrete, and we're using GGBS. We're using that to mix our concrete. So the making of cement usually creates very high CO2 emissions. What's interesting about GGBS is that it creates about 80% less so we're trying to specify local materials and work with local people to minimize travel distances. So we are using modern technologies in the building. We reuse the heat of computers to heat the building. We collect rainwater for toilet flushing, and we also have green roofs and solar panels. So for us, sustainability is not just materials and but it, it's also about uh, social sustainability and health and well-being. So the design really tries to promote mixing of people. So we want to design spaces that are inviting and really help along sparking ideas. As architects, our goal is to build carbon neutral or maybe even carbon negative buildings. And it is imperative that we get on with it. What you heard from Anya there was some really good information. She touched on the importance of designing for people. Can you remember what else she said? Anya spoke about using people and materials from the local area. Now, why is this more environmentally friendly? What does it cut down on? So, when designing new buildings, you can see that there are some things that we can do to reduce CO2 emissions and make spaces for all.